Hi guys, welcome to this new video of Next.js 13. In this video, I will show you how we can connect our Next.js 13 app with MongoDB. First, I will explain you how we can create our new project on Mongo Atlas. You need to go to cloud.mongodb.com and create your new account on this website. Once you will create and sign into this website, uh, you will see uh, this page. It might update in your case uh, the UI and currently i have five projects you will have a empty page when you will reach to this page and created a new account so first of all we need to create a new project and uh, i will name uh, any project to it so next 13 mongo and this is the name and then i can give any other member a permission but uh, since uh, i will only be using this so i will not be adding any new member so we'll be creating the uh, next and uh, it will take some time and it's loading and next once the project is created we will be creating a new cluster inside mongo atlas so for creating a uh, we need to create a database and uh, we need to select a free membership from here keep it aws we need to keep it cluster zero right so i have just clicked on the create and uh, now uh, it has actually created uh, my username and it has created a password right and uh, i would request you to go ahead and save this password somewhere because this password we will require uh, later on when we need to connect our app with the mongodb okay so once you save the password you need to click on the create user and the user is created and uh, then we need to give access to this database the cluster that i have created uh, i can give access to anyone by clicking on the 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. Uh, but for now i will just be giving myself access to this cluster only so add my uh, the api is already added so my api is already added over here so i will just click on the finish and close so go to databases we are done with setting up project setting up cluster in our mongo atlas and once it shows something over here i will let you know how we can connect it with our next year's 13 application so if we click on the browse collection we'll see nothing because it is empty project and uh, to connect our database click on the connect button and here i need to go to the driver so we i'm selecting um, node.js and here this is the line that i actually need i just need to replace the password which i have already saved so i'll just be copying it and that's it we are just done so now let's go to our project and uh, i'll start off working on the same project that i showed you in the last video in that project it's not a project it's just a simple file with some uh, ui on it and the only two pages of it and in the last video i showed you how we can add theming in our next year's 13 project if you want to learn that check out that video in my channel okay so in this page i'll be creating a new uh, route at the top with name posts and um, while clicking on those posts i will server side rendered all the posts that i will be fetching through api that i'll be creating directly in next year's 13 and those apis will be accessing this mongodb and will be fetching the data from here from the collections so now let's go to our project and uh, it's just a simple ui that i've just shown you over here and uh, first of all we need to set up few things so i'm going to create few um, folders and files so first of all i'm going to create an env file inside it so dot env and inside it i need to paste that url that i've just copied okay so let's go and i can name anything mongo url equals to and i'm going to paste that line okay so uh, i have the username here and uh, i need to replace this string with my password so i'm just going to copy my password from the file where i have saved so let's paste it over here so password is saved and then i need to give the name of database that i need to create so right before the question mark i'm going to give it the name let's say next 13 mongo 
uh, you can give the meaningful name or uh, the name of the project you are working so that's it we only need to do these things now we are going to close this dot env file okay and then uh, let me close this file and uh, then i need to create a new file and i'm going to name it database so let's create a new file and i will name it db.js and inside it i'll be using mongoose which is a library to connect to the database for the mongodb and it gives us a lot of built-in functions to actually fetch the data manipulate data creating schemas and uh, a lot of uh, documentation and the uh, curing the data from the database but first i need to install it so npm install mongoose so i'll be installing npm install mongoose and inside it let's start importing mongoose so mongoose right so and then i will be creating a new function let's say a connect is a function then i'll be using the async await to actually could trying to connect to the database so sync arrow function and inside it since i'll be using async await to catch the errors i need to add try catch okay so first throw new error error in connecting to mongodb in case something goes wrong we will show this error and in the try catch a uh, try block i will be using await and i will use mongoose dot connect function and then i'll be giving the url that i have pasted so process dot env dot mongo underscore url let me verify if i actually named this over here so mongo url is the name right so then i can have the second few params which are the formalities so url parser true and use unified topology equals to true okay and make sure you spell it right it's not it has to be topology okay so let's save it and then finally i need to export it so export default connect right so we are done with creating a function and this mongoose is going to be responsible for connecting to the database and let's add a log so that we know mongo connection successful right currently i cannot actually test uh, or run this file to see if it's connecting fine but before that let me go and further uh, create some schemas using mongoose okay so for creating schemas i'm going to create a new folder inside it and uh, i'm going to give the name uh, to this folder models okay and then i'm going to create a post.js and in here i'm going to create schema so all the concepts that i'm writing over here i have already explained in my node express mongodb crash course if you want to learn in-depth knowledge about this uh, technology uh, or the mongodb you can check out my next year's crash course and i have explained a lot of things there are around 30 videos i've already created and i'll be creating more videos in that playlist so import and then the mongoose from mongoose and the mongoose gives us a const schema equals to mongoose we have destructured schema now using this schema is actually a class and we can create a new instance of it so post schema new schema and then we can have the title and the title is of type string and uh, it is required actually so i'm going to add required there are a lot more properties to it uh, but for now that's uh, something that i will uh, be ignoring um, if you want to learn that go check out my playlist of node express mongodb so next i will be writing description and it's of type string 
and it's also required okay so now that's i think it's done and finally i will be creating a timestamps timestamps true and now i need to create a model while using this schema i need to export that so export default mongoose dot model and i need to give the name of the model so i'm going to give the post and then the post schema right so this is the small schema that i've just created and uh, i think we are done with this file we'll come back to this file for one minor change uh, that i'll be showing you later now in order to access this database and access this schema and fetch all the posts from the database i need to create apis and i'll be creating uh, some built-in tools provided by next.js 13 so i'll be creating i'll be coming here in the app and i'll be creating a new folder and i will give it api okay so in this folder i can have further folders so let's say i can have posts and then i need to give the name of file inside it route.js so it has to be the route.js you cannot name anything else to it okay so first i will be importing i've already explained in my next js 13 crash course series uh, how to create apis what are the different variations and you can check that out so i'm just showing you and assuming that you are already aware of these minor stuff of next.js 13 so it's of uh, server and then i need to import connect from that db which i have the file that i have created okay so next i can import the post which is from the model okay so now i can create a get function export const get async and it gives us a request and uh, then i can use the try because i'll be using async await so first i will use the connect here okay and then i will be using the catch and error and uh, i can return something from here new next response error in fetching posts okay and then i can append the error after that and if i want to give it a status of 500 i can give it like this okay uh, i'm not writing anything else inside it but if i try to run the project and go to this uh, url this is actually the api that we have created so the api will exist in the route a uh, slash api slash posts so this is the uh, route of my api so let's save it i hope that uh, i have written everything fine and uh, i'm going to run the project now npm run dev and i'm gonna go to a new browser and i'm going to write localhost slash api slash posts so let me wait for it to run yeah it's running so let's see what happens so required i i think i have written it empty so i needed to add the true over here and uh, now i can it, it's automatically refreshed so let's see if it gives us any response the compiled successfully so there is an error but it has also logged that mongo connection successful we'll come back to this error but now let's go to our mongo atlas and uh, i'm going to go to the browse collection and see if the database name have been created or not because in our uh, env file we gave the name to the database here mongo uh, next 13 mongo okay okay so we have a next 13 mongo db name created over here so db was db connection was successful in our code so let's see what goes wrong here so i think if i go to 
my route.js i actually need to return something just like this so if i copy this paste over here and rather than returning the something from here i'm just going to return a response hello from programming with omer and the status would be 200 okay so let's save it again and uh, let's see what happens and if i refresh localhost column 3000 slash api uh, it is giving us the can't override post model once compiled yeah so i knew this error so here i need to return and check that if the post uh, inside the mongo was already existing or not okay so now i need to write mongoose dot models dot post if it exists then return this if it does not exist then create a new model and then return this so i'm going to save it so you can see the db connection was successful and it has successfully printed this message hello from programming with umair so that's awesome and we are successfully connecting with our database uh, in over here okay so now we need to actually get the data of posts from the database so in order to get the data we have a pre-built functions provided by this mongoose so first we need to uh, 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 get this data i'm going to write const posts and then await post is the model for the schema and then only the find function that's it and it will take the responsibility of every post that is uh, added in our mongo atlas but rather than giving it a string let me give the json dot stringify we need to return the data in the form of stringify to posts okay currently there are no posts so it will not show anything let's refresh it is showing empty array because there is no post over here right so i'm going to insert a new document here so keep it id the whenever we create a new document uh, it automatically assign an id to it the second param would be the title so the title and uh, the title would be uh, like connect mongodb with nextjs 13 uh, this has been added and uh, then i'm going to add another field and i'm going to give it the name description uh, and i'm just going to add a random string okay so i have added let's let's remove this line and i'm going to insert it inserting document so if i refresh let me refresh and see there is uh, let me add it this and i need to remove this space so update so this is the data of one post that we have added directly we could have creating a new form in our nextjs app and directly accessing this database uh, and creating a new uh, post in our db but first let's refresh and now guys you can see that it's how quickly our nextjs 13 app is actually fetching the data from the database and uh, it's showing over here okay now we need to create a new route over here on this app and we need to show all the posts in this application of nextjs so the final thing is about the nextjs i'm going to uh, creating a new route i'm going to add a new folder so i'm going to give it a name posts and inside the post i need to give the name page.jsx and i'm just going to copy paste everything from uh, this page portfolio So now it should be working fine now we are in the route post and we can see all the data it's a constant data we need to update it with our database content okay i'm going to close everything 
and let's open this post okay so there is the concept called server side rendering in Next.js 13 i've already explained in my previous crash course on Next.js 13 go check this out i won't be able to uh, explain everything on that topic in this video so first of all i will be creating a new function async function and i will call it get data and uh, inside it i'm going to uh, call that api that we have just created directly in this project okay so our api is also running on localhost 3000 and our next yes app is also running on localhost 3000 okay so now i'm going to give the http colon slash and localhost colon 3000 slash api slash posts this is our url for the api and after that we can give some params to it and cache equals to no store means that it is a server side rendering api uh, we can give other things as well for static generation incremental static generation you can check out my other videos on next.js and uh, then i can check if the response dot okay then i can return some error but Next.js 13 also provide us something called the not found. I also need to return the data. So response.json. Okay. And here I will be writing data equals to await get data. And I need to make this component async because I'm using await keyword. First before showing it over here, let me log the data and see if our data gets logged over here or not already it's already logged you can see that's awesome and we need to now go and i'm going to remove all other divs okay and this one as well okay and uh, then i will be adding the data.map function so in order to add the data dot map i will be adding it above this styles dot item function okay so now i will write data dot map and then the post and inside it i can copy everything that is over here so i can get it from here so we have this title so i can give it post question mark which is for the error handling and then we have the title and then i can give the description so post question mark description so it's not showing the posts over here let's go and see what's wrong uh, first of all let me give it a key and the key has to be post dot id underscore id which is the key name and uh, yeah so this is the curly braces this is the mistake i usually do and i need to add parentheses over here if i save the file and now you can see that the, all the posts are visible over here with the title and with the description let's try to add another document so this is another document and now i can add the title make sure you don't misspell it and uh, then angular is a javascript framework this is the title i've added and then i'm going to add another field insert another field and uh, then i'm going to add the description and random text okay so I've added now insert document it is inserting and if I refresh it automatically refreshed and there are two documents currently if I go over here API it will show you that it's showing two objects and then if I refresh go to the home first go to portfolio go to posts and now this data is coming from the API of MongoDB that we have created and let's try yes theming is working as well this is awesome and this website is looking great and this is it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you in the next video and i'll be creating more videos on next js 13 in upcoming days